Tuesday evening, weather for Weather Geeks. If you're a weather geek, this is your video. We take a deeper dive into the weather in this video than I ever have time for in two and a half or three minutes on TV. We've got a lot to talk about this evening. We've got an active pattern coming up, a very interesting pattern coming up, because some anomalous heat that's going to stick around for quite a while is, is set to head our way. little review of today, though. Uh, we hit the forecast uh, right on the nose today. 80 degrees was the forecast. 80 degrees was the high, so that makes it 12 days in a row in the 2-degree guarantee. 80 in Youngstown and Pittsburgh today. 82 New Philly. Look at Toledo and Detroit. 85 and 84, respectively, this afternoon. Our weather remains quiet this evening. Active weather out across the middle of the country when I was recording this at about 7.40 p.m. Really wild video on the uh, live video on the Weather Channel right now of a uh, tornado in progress out across uh, Kansas near the Dodge City area. Uh, this is a this is a bad situation uh, in a populated area there in Kansas. Severe weather will remain a threat in Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Panhandle, Texas, uh, even into eastern Oklahoma for a time this evening. But our, the, our weather is quiet by comparison, all thanks to high pressure, which is down to our southeast. And with a clear sky tonight, another nice night to uh, check out something cool in the sky. This has been going on all week. You may have noticed... Uh, Mars in the sky, in the southeast sky, a while after sunset, uh, it is at what we call opposition. In other words, the Earth is between Mars and the Sun. That makes Mars particularly bright in our sky, and also Mars is passing uh, closest to Earth th than it has in the past, uh, I believe, uh, decade or so, 10 or 11 years. Uh, so that makes Mars particularly bright. Uh, you can pick out the red orangish uh, hint uh, to the uh, to the unaided eye. It's very easy to pick out. You don't need a telescope. Uh, so the, uh, the the tint of orange and red, easy to see. And Mars, Saturn's up there tonight as well. Now the moon doesn't rise until uh, eleven o'clock or so. So after eleven, you can catch the moon low on the on the horizon, and then look up up into the right. You'll see Saturn, and then the orange red object is Mars. All right, our weather as we head into the day on Wednesday. We'll remain pretty quiet. Uh, we've pretty much removed any chance of precipitation on Wednesday. I think it's a dry day. It's still a fairly sunny day, and it's going to continue to warm up. 80 today, I think we'll do two or three better tomorrow afternoon, about 83, but the humidity still remains pretty low. Then a warm front will slide through tomorrow night, and I think there could be a shower, even a thunderstorm uh, in the wee hours of Thursday morning with that warm front. And as that front lifts off to the north, boy, is it going to be sticky on Thursday. And in that warm and humid air mass, there could be a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm, and Friday holds a similar forecast. Most of the day rain-free. Pop-up storm? Sure, that's a possibility for the afternoon. It is really going to be a midsummer-like pattern for us. Here's a look at the GFS numbers as far as dew points go. GFS, one of our computer models. Uh, we're still in the pleasant category tomorrow in the 50s for dew points, but once those dew points get into the 60s, that's when you start to notice it. And we could even have some middle and upper 60s for dew points as we go into the upcoming weekend. So... It's going to start to feel pretty uncomfortable out there. If you have window air conditioners, good time to start putting them in. Uh, you've got central air. It's going to be uh, cranking if you turn it on as we go towards the weekend. I showed you this last night. Here's a list of the uh, records. Records probably won't be broken. Uh, this will be a long-lived heat wave, if you will, but individual records for each day, probably safe. 85, too shy on Thursday. We're four shy of it on Friday and a couple shy Saturday and Sunday. Modeling trying to cool us off on Memorial Day by a handful of degrees. Not sure if I buy it just yet. Memorial Day, I think, is still pretty warm. Our forecast is 85, allowing a slight cool down, but I wouldn't be shocked at all if ultimately we took that back up into the upper 80s on Memorial Day. going to be a hot one. All right. The pattern as we go through the next, uh, this will take us out through nine days, I believe, is going to be a warm one. With all the cool air bottled up out west, we're looking at the 500 millibar chart. Uh, we're looking at about 18,000 feet up in the air, in other words. All the colors here spin or vorticity in the atmosphere, and indicating little individual disturbances. Uh, but the, the large-scale pattern here, as we go towards Memorial Day and even into early next week, features you know kind of a dip in the jet stream or the, the upper-level winds out here, and a ridge or a bulge out here. And that means continued warmth after Memorial Day, right through the end of next week. There, there's no cool air in sight. It's all up here in Canada and off the West Coast. So I think we've got a good 10-day stretch of warm to hot weather coming our way. It may peak over the holiday weekend. It may not be quite as hot next week. The warmth may peak for a few days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But still, 10 degrees above average uh, for a lot of next week. After that, the modeling showing a, 
a return to perhaps normal June weather, 70s, as we go into the second week of June. One of the concerns as we go through the next uh, a handful of days will be the air quality. Still fine right now for the most part. Now, if you have asthma, if, uh, if you're younger, uh, children particularly, uh, may be susceptible to some issues if, if they spend a lot of time outdoors exerting themselves fairly heavily uh, as we ramp up the heat and humidity and the air quality starts to uh, degrade a little bit. So we're going to put uh, Wednesday in that unhealthy for sensitive groups category. And I think, uh, I think Thursday will be similar, unhealthy for sensitive groups. Uh, nothing crazy here, but uh, still one of the first times this year that we're going to have to talk about perhaps a reduction in air quality. All right, my summer forecast uh, will debut on Thursday, 21 News at 6 and 11. I'll probably put a text and graphics version of it on my weather blog earlier in the day. So if you watch this video, you know I've been talking about the, uh, the summer ideas for a while now. And be sure and check out my weather blog on Thursday for the official word on, on June, July, and August, what we consider to be meteorological summer. If you don't catch that, then you can uh, check it out in video form on 21 News at 6 and 11 on Thursday. Thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. And if you're up late tonight, you can always catch my forecast on 21 News at 11. I'll see you then.